Hello there and welcome to another basic Game Maker Studio tutorial and this is less coding, just a design concept video. So maybe if you've seen one of my previous videos so about this game, the Zombie Defender. So this is part of my upcoming um, game, Office Orc, and this is just one of the mini games where you just conquer buildings and then the zombies are trying to overrun you and definitely they will, but you're just here to stop them. So just from, from the concept phase, how you can actually set that up super, super easy without any searching algorithms, because what you could do here, and this is just again overkill because this is an easy video, you can do and give every one of the zombie a search algorithm. So looking, so this one, the zombies are trying to get the closest way to, let's say a specific near target. And I didn't want it to make it too complicated. And therefore, I just said like, ah, let's make it as easy as possible. So the first thing which is in here, so for this is a nice little screenshot. The first thing you need to define is the enemy building, then on the opposite side, the main building, which is need to be occupied. So the enemy tries to occupy it. So the zombies, of course, this can be used for the same as a virus spreading thing, because well, this is actually what it does. It's just basically a spreading of something. If it's zombies, viruses, or um, walking potatoes, which are really angry, all can be done here. So this is just the way you can do this. So here, what first of all I need to define is a landing zone. So basically here, this is the enemy building, which has the skull icon above it. So you understand, bam, bam, bam. Then we define a zone here. So zombies are being spawned. And there, I just have a timer, and once the timer runs down, hey, create those zombies, and then I need to give them some direction. And this is true, just what I do. So basically, they have like only two variables, which are controlling them. First of all, uh, speed, which is quite slow, and then a direction. And uh, I give them a cone of, move, uh, of direction, which is something about here, so they can go upwards like this, or downwards like this, or somewhere in between here, so here, here whatever, some of those directions. And then they have a range around them. And for example, if something is in this range, for example, a building, because this is the only thing, then they change their initial direction towards this guy here, this guy here, depending. And then this is basically the whole concept of this. It's quite, quite easy. But for example, what happens if the guy goes up here? Damn, you're way too wrong. Then. I have some extra buffers. Oh, now let's make some other color. So those buffers are kind of a no, no, no redirection thing. So they're here, and here, and here, and so on. Of course, at the bottom as well. And then there, once you are hitting those things, then it will say, "No, my friend, you're out of bounds. Go back here." And they change the direction downwards again. And this is basically what I do in the game. So this is the spawner, and here are those redirection ranges um, uh, blocks and they just have a very specific direction so I just give them one of course they are not moving and what I do I have this zombie which is being created so this is only one guy here and once we're hitting this violet block then it's just saying hey take the direction which is being inside and set it to ours and this is just basically it and here I just have so it doesn't like constantly change it because that would be kind of irritating sometimes the player or the, the the zombie could get stuck in direction shifting all the time which is not too good it would twitch a little bit and therefore I just have it once and then but I have this variable which is just hey, saying hey have you corrected it once great if not then we set an alarm and after that alarm is done then it will set it to false again so it's just once so how does the logic look inside the zombie because we are inside the zombie object which is quite simple it's just checking hey instance nearest to the object house because this is how i call it and then there can be different houses so it can be an infested enemy house it could be um example, one of those houses here this is a bank the and uh, the hq is a house this one is a house they just share some similar logic and therefore you can use it and then just checking, hey, if the building is not infested, for example, infested just means um, lots of zombies have come in. 
and then once they come in then they kind of destroy the HP of the building so this is the easiest method I could conjure up and then once the HP is down then the thing is infested and then it belongs to the almost said orcs but now it's the zombies and yeah and then they spawn new zombies with the same uh, thing which the enemy uh, HQ was doing as well but just a little bit less and then the last thing because we're just checking hey are you an enemy house don't home in are you an enemy house don't home in are you not infested then well if you are not infested great and are you in this range so this is the circle around the player then we're just changing your direction towards the thing which we stored in a variable so instance nearest is just giving you the nearest instance of this type and this can be one of those so house one two three and four and how they are called and then plus 15 why plus 15 because they are aligned at the top left corner but i want them to be a little bit more in the center so it looks realistically they're not homing to this corner that would look kind of silly therefore just walk in and once they walk in well, they take the hp away and the last thing so for example we are having this enemy um spawning building so this is the fat guy here so to the left this guy here once again then it's just spawning and it has a timer it runs down this is what i told you then because i want the spawn timer every time to refresh so for example once it runs down we create a zombie and because i want it to keep up a little bit of pressure therefore i just have increase uh, spawn rate so i'm just taking from the original spawn time which is 800 of course and it's a little bit higher at the beginning i just wanted to make it a little bit more interesting um then the uh, the timer will be every time smaller and smaller and smaller and then you get more and more zombies and then at some point well they overrun you and so you keep up the pressure uh, constantly so because then the game is a little bit more fun and this is just basically what i do here so we can actually start it again and there are of course are some other things which are running in the background but for now, this is just the basically spawning uh, infection thing here. And well, for example, we can actually have, we have some money here. We can actually take over one of those buildings. Let's take the fat one over here. Come on. And as you can see, you're hovering over, you're having this key. Hopefully that symbolizes um, that you're taking something over. I didn't have a better icon for that. I was a bit toying with an eye, but eh, oh well. And as you can see, they have their HP, which isn't too full. And then once the HP is down, bam, you'll be taking over. Of course, if you take over one of your buildings, then they can actually shoot and defend. This is what you can do with all those buildings. So, for example, once you, they are hitting one of those zombies, if you look at this, then you spawn just some particles and bam, it definitely looks already better. So, hopefully, um, that gave you some inspiration maybe if you want to do a tower defense game so this is one of the things how you can do this of course they don't walk on the line like a regular tower defense games here they kind of randomly organically are spawning so maybe this is because of its random nature a little bit more interesting and the last thing which i wanted to show you and this has nothing to do with this video i made it well, i made a question one week ago so what kind of um, new videos you want to have on this uh, this channel which is the one you're actually watching and then you guys decided for more hardcore stuff i hope you understand what that means really difficult topics yeah and for example tomorrow i will do a video in the midday so if you want to change your stuff for sim um, for some advanced stuff so basically what those things mean first of all that would be which you guys don't want as it seems just one specific content uh, topic so for example let's say uh, you want to have the grappling hook I do the grappling hook you want this I want I do this here this means basically a whole series let's say um, a side scroller so I start what do I need to do the first uh, thing okay make make some brainstorming uh, the design document then how to set up the, the the first prototype 
then add some stuff, add some stuff, and then you, we get to a pretty decent prototype in the end, which is most channels do. You didn't want that? Okay, so CDOS for advanced users, then networking, a platformer which has some slopes, some more advanced stuff. Of course, this will be definitely much longer because that demands from you that you already understand Game Maker Studio to a pretty good extent. Then we can actually do some things which are besides while well, going right, left and jumping. So definitely some, some, some platforms which are moving or some pushing of the stuff and so on and so on. You didn't, as it seems, want that. Then the hardcore stuff, and this is really difficult, so shaders, physics, and level generation. Um, I will do, uh, for example, tomorrow, depending what you are choosing, so st you still have one day ahead of you, then if you uh, choose for this topic, then I will give you um, a video just showing you what that actually means, and then give some examples, and then we will head into a series about the hardcore stuff, because here, this stuff is definitely some, some, some hard candy, but if you want the hard candy, you want to lose your teeth on that one, you're welcome, we can do this. So, tomorrow, a video on that. So, see you then tomorrow. Have a good one. One up indie.